as to penalty, count one, murder, we, the jury, recommend and fix the penalty as death. A Gwinnett County stepmother stared straight ahead, briefly looked down for just a moment before she raised her head again and then listened to the verdict that she has been sentenced to death in Gwinnett County. And with that verdict, Tiffany Moss becomes the only woman on George's death row. This time yesterday, that jury was at an impasse. After one hour of deliberations this morning, they all agreed the death penalty would be the penalty for starving her 10-year-old stepdaughter, Amani, to death and then trying to hide the crime. The push for justice in Amani's death does not end here. And we have team coverage tonight, beginning with Caitlin Ross, who was in the courtroom as the punishment was handed down. Caitlin, no emotion from Tiffany Moss. Any reaction from anyone else who happened to be in the court at the time? Amani's grandmother breathed out very slowly after the verdict was read. She actually looked relieved. She was sitting right next to Amani's fourth grade teacher in the courtroom, and as they walked out, they both said justice had been served. Moss's execution is set for between June 7th and June 14th. That's just 38 days from today. A lot of you on our Facebook page were asking why it's happening so fast. Legally, the judge doesn't have a lot of wiggle room. The penalty can't be imposed for more than 20 days, and it has to be less than 60 days after a verdict is delivered. Typically, in other death row cases, the execution gets pushed back because of the appeals process. But Moss is representing herself and didn't really say anything during the trial. So it's unclear if she'll even file an appeal on her own behalf. Gwinnett County District Attorney Danny Porter says it's all up to her. She still has say. She can, she can file a, an appeal herself. She can decline to file an appeal. If she declines to file an appeal, um, then the Supreme Court will review the record of the case as if an appeal had been filed. The judge appointed two attorneys to be on standby for Moss during the trial. They weren't allowed to speak, but they told us as they left the court today, they plan to file an appeal on her behalf anyway. The judge will then weigh whether to give it any consideration, which could push back the execution date even more. Doug Richards continues our team coverage. And Doug, one thing a lot of people who've been watching our live stream from court notice is the lack of emotion from Tiffany Moss during the entire trial. Well, Caitlin, there certainly seemed to be almost a numbness to her over the last couple of days as the jury decided her fate. Tiffany Moss was expressionless and muted during the reading of the death penalty verdict, and her reaction was characteristic of her entire demeanor during the trial when she refused the services of a state-appointed lawyer and defended herself without questioning any witnesses or making any statements on her own behalf. Late yesterday, we spotted her mother leaving the courthouse after the guilty verdict was rendered. Like her daughter, the defendant's mother declined to speak. But Amani Moss's paternal grandmother did answer a couple of questions after the death penalty verdict was rendered today. I just leave it all to God and he takes care of it all for me. Are you pleased with the verdict? Yes. Do you think Imani got justice? Robin Moss is the woman who sued the State Department of Family and Children's Services for overlooking the abuse of Amani Moss. She had tried to get custody of the child, but the state returned her to her father and stepmother who killed her. We'll have more on that at 6. District Attorney Danny Porter said afterward he thinks the defendant's silence showed that she knew what would likely happen, but as he said, she was going to make somebody else inflict that. She was not going to agree to it herself. Had she done so, she could have accepted a plea deal to serve life in prison without parole, an offer that was on the table until the jury that she insisted on having decide her fate was seated, Jeff.